Welcome back, everybody, to another Lockout Men podcast interview for you guys. Yo, this young lady trucker is not only a truck driver, but she is an entrepreneur and she's a hip hop artist with several titles on Spotify and iTunes. And she got her latest video, which I will play a clip for you right now. So please stay tuned for this special, special guest on Lockout Men Podcast. What's up, y'all? Lockout Men back in the building with another Lockout Men podcast interview for you guys today. Yo, I'm sending out a lot of invitations for a lot of these new jacks, a lot of drivers, a lot of female drivers to come on in and chop it up with me on the podcast. And I appreciate the ones that came so far. So if you guys enjoying the, the conversation that I'm having, yo, if you, if you, you, yes, you. If you have anything you want to conversate with me about, get at me. Just email me, lockoutmen at gmail.com. Well, today, on today's episode, I have a young lady that popped up on my feed probably day before yesterday. And I noticed that she works at a company called Epps. Now, remember back in the day, I called Epps. Good company to work for. So if y'all interested in Epps, make sure y'all chop it up. But I believe she still worked there, so she might have some little gems for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yo, right now, right now, I want you guys to put your hands together for my young lady, Nifa Neef. What's going on, Miss Lady? How you doing today? I'm good. All right, all right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. For the listeners that don't know who you are, man, go ahead and uh, go ahead and tell them a little bit about yourself while I'm picking out a video to uh, play in the background. Okay, cool. I'm me for me. I'm an artist, an entrepreneur. I currently drive trucks to like invest in my son's Word. college fund as well as my rap career. So I started trucking like three years ago. I jumped in the game in 2016. And ever since then, I've just been trucking along on my journey. And I take you along with me on my YouTube. I got like studio blogs when I'm in the studio working, home time when I'm with my son. And just the ups and the downs, because I've been with three companies since I started. So okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the so the uh, video that I pulled up is a video that popped up on my feed. Let's take a look at it. I showered this morning and head out. I hope you can hear me as I run. Yeah, y'all, y'all gotta peep her out. She getting herself together, you know, with the teeth brushing everything. Getting her getting her uh, beauty on, you know what I'm saying? She can't she can't get in the truck looking all messy, messy, you know what I'm saying? All right, so with um with the companies that you're at right now, what uh what where where did you start? I mean, did you did you go to a company to get your license or did you uh did you start at a truck driving school? I got my CDL through Tampa Truck Driving. Oh, excuse me, Tampa Bay Truck Driving School. Oh, okay, okay. So you actually went to a truck driving school. Okay, cool. Yes, and they had it to where either you could pay 5000 up front mm -hmm. to get your CDLs, or you could start with one of their starter companies, and they'll take $150 out of each check. Okay. They're not contracted to stay with the company, but that's how they did it in that's the route I took because at the time I was broke, broke. I feel it. I feel it. So this, so they gave you two opportunities. That's a that's a first that I ever heard of a truck driving school giving uh, new jacks opportunities like that. When I had mine, they they wanted their money up front. They wasn't like, no, nah, we'll help you get the job, but <laughs> you got to pay us to train you. So this comp, so this uh, truck driving school that you went to gave you the opportunity to go through one of their. Uh, sponsored uh, companies, and they just uh, you they just took it out of your paycheck that way, right? Was it right? Yeah, and it's 
it didn't take me long to say to pay back the five thousand. Yeah, five thousand is a lot to pay back at a hundred dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's yeah. that's like black people pay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get we have like we have like a thousand dollars on our credit card and we pay the minimum. <laughs> how, how, how how much how how much? Well, you know, if you pay more, you paid off. No. What's the minimum? Thirty five dollars. That's what I want to pay. <laughs> but then come back later and be like, yo, can I can I get a hundred dollars more? I need to get this. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's so. What was the company that you started with that uh, that you went through? And what was your experience with them? So with Tampa Bay Trucking School, they had different companies to choose from. The one company was Company. Um, excuse me. The one company was Covenant. Covenant. Oh. They had Stevens Transport, and then they had Swift. Oh so my Stevens God. Transport Terminal was out of Texas, and then uh, Covenant was out of, I want to say Tennessee, and then Swift was out of Ocala. So, Florida. which one you went with? I went with Swift, because <laughs> that was the closest to home. <laughs> that was before I knew about like their bad reputation and all the mistakes the rookies make. Right. So when I was going to truck stops, they would clown me when I came in there with my Swift hat on, my Swift shirt. Like, <laughs> they had a field day. So, wow. So how long you been in the game so far? Three years. Three years, and Swift was the first. So being that Swift was the first, did you have to go out with an additional trainer with Swift? And if so, how was that experience? I did have to go out with a trainer, and I'm fortunate enough to be blessed because I got along with my trainer. Like, I set the intention before I even got on the truck to, like, look, whoever I get, if, even if they're an asshole, I'm going to stick it out, be nice, kill them with kindness, get it done. Because I had my son to think about. My son was two at the time. But, like, with my trainer, he was super cool. We were on a dedicated account. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that he kind of forgot to teach me was sliding the tandem because he was on this Target account. So, it was always 26,000 pounds. Okay, so, so you so instead of going with an OTR driver and learning OTR skills, you went out with uh you went off with a dedicated driver that's uh, that pretty much taught you limited, I want to say, because I first started with uh with a uh, with a you know, regional dedicated driver and mm -hmm. of course all the stuff I learned came after I went OTR. Exactly. So my first year by myself, I cried every day. <laughs> every night when I was done, I cried. And my first night with my truck and trailer by myself, I got in an accident. Oh, man. I clipped somebody's tractor with my with trailer. The trailer. Yeah, that's the first. It was a, first. a left turn, and I was looking at my right mirror trying to find the trailer, and I found it when I hit this guy's tractor. Wow. Uh, so that's that's with Swift, right? That's with Swift. So what, being that they knew that you was a new driver and everything, what was the what was the outcome of the, of the accident? That should be your first preventable. Yeah, and, like, the driver who I hit ended up being a lady. He was super understanding she hugged me when i was crying like oh come on now it happens it happens to everybody i, I i'm not That's i'm not sure if, i'm not sure if there's any any truck driver out here especially a newbie that can actually say that they never get into an accident and they you know they they first time out because i got in yeah. one i i clipped it of course i clipped the truck but my situation was the truck was illegally parked. So when I came around the corner. Hers he was too. Oh, okay. See, when I came around the corner, he wasn't even supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So after Swift, uh, how long you was with Swift? I was with Swift for two years. 
Okay, so you rocked out. Okay. Yeah, I left Swift only because I had a local opportunity where I can be home every night with my son. Okay. So by this time, my son is four. And, like, I don't want to miss kindergarten. So I got this local opportunity with Cardinal. Okay, Cardinal Logistics. Right. Okay, what happened with them? What was your experience with them? OMG. (laughs) OMG, okay. Here we go. Well, my experience with them was good at first. And so I was working out of this Bell's account, and they have this loss prevention, like when you check in, you check out. And, like, the dude at the gate, he was cool at first. And then the next week, he would be, like, not cool. And then the next week, he would be cool. So, and then it started, he started making me wait, like, getting my paperwork. He would put me last. He wouldn't help me open the trailer doors, which were super hard because the trailers were old. Mm-hmm. He was rude as hell. So I started text messaging my boss, like, hey, this officer is giving me a hard time when it's time to get in the gate and get out of the gate. Right. He's like not helping me. He's not telling me where to park. So when I park somewhere, it's an issue with where I park. But you didn't tell me where to park. You didn't give me the space number. So like he, the provincial officer started telling on me. I was telling on him. But he was, of course, Caucasian. And here I am, the black female who's young as hell, trucking. And, like, he doesn't seem happy with his job, but he's telling his bigger boss. And as I'm telling my boss, my boss isn't doing his due diligence in telling his bigger boss. So when it came down to it, they chose the Caucasian security officer, which is the customer, the bail customer. Right. They told them that, like, I'm banned and I can't drive. I can't, like, pick up loads from there. So, therefore, Cardinal had to, like, get rid of me. Unfortunately, I'm not the first driver who's been through a situation like that. Wow, that's so, that's crazy. That is so crazy. Super crazy. So, Cardinal, just uh, on the humble, just said, just said, F you. And just, uh, yeah, like, we're not about to lose this customer over a black girl truck driver. Wow. So, I was thinking about, like, you know, like I felt like it was discrimination, but I just filed for unemployment because I didn't want that to like follow me, and then I'm not able to get in with another right trucking company. But I definitely made a video about it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What's the what's the video? What's what's the video? I'm back on your so page. The the video that I made about it is called Nifa Nifa Fire from Cardinal. Nifa You're fire. Nifa. Let's see, Nifa Nifa Crit Chat. Neefa Neef Q and A. Neefa Neef Happy Birthday. Uh is it is it oh here we go. Neefa Neef Fire from Cardinal. Let's check that out. Yep. Here we go. If you are new to the channel, my name is Neefa Neef. And again, thank you for being here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So by the title, y'all, I got some tea that I need to spill that I need to let y'all know. You say you got some tea. Okay, so if you guys want to check out the rest of that video, definitely look her up on her uh, YouTube. So now you're, so now it sounds like you're you're in a good place now. You're at uh you're at Epps. Yes. So how's it, how's the experience here. there? I just started November 11, 2019. Okay. And they promised to get me home every weekend. Okay. I've been home every weekend <laughs> now you mentioning your you mentioning your son how how old is he now he's five years old five years old okay okay cool cool 
a trucker mama yes. out there. So you got so you definitely got family that's that's helping you out with your kid. Definitely supportive. I got a great me and my baby daddy. We're not together, but he's a great father to my child, and we split the week. Oh, okay. So he gets them Monday through um, Wednesday. I get them Thursday through Sunday night. Okay. So that's how we do it. It's definitely to keep that bond in a in a child's life because. Oh you know, yeah, you... like he signs them up for football. He's running track now. So yeah, I, we have a. You know, because the person who you lay down with is a reflection of you, and I got a good baby daddy stuff. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so one one thing you wish you know before you got into trucking, what what would it? What was it? What was the one thing that you wish you know before you got into trucking? Not <laughs> well. Um... This is so, that is a tough question. I've never been asked that question. <laughs> One thing that I wish I would have known. Mm, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> See, there's a lot of stuff out here that I wish I would have knew before I, Give me I, an example. I got in the trucking. Because, you know, when I got, when I got in the trucking, I, I didn't know that you, especially going OTR, that you can't never get home like when you want to go home because when I got into it, I thought like, okay, I'm about to get in this truck, I'm about to do the damn thing, and then I'm about to go home. But then when I got right. into orientation, they was like, put the brakes on it, son. I was like, hold on, wait, what do you mean? I gotta ask for home time. Yeah, you you gotta put in about about a week, two weeks, fourteen days, home two. Or home one, because for every week out, you only get one day for home. So, yeah, I kind of wish I knew all of that before I got into trucking. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel that. What like, about? Like, with my first year with Swift, mm -hmm. it was bad until, like, I learned the game and figured out that your dispatcher does not plan your load. Your planner plans your right, load. Right, right. So, once I got introduced to Decatur terminal with Swift, and I found a planner who was super cool. I would get the mileage that I needed, mm -hmm. and I would get home every weekend. But before then, like I would hear drivers saying, "Oh yeah, I brought home fifteen hundred dollars this week." Right. And I'm like, "Well, damn, I haven't even seen four digits on my paycheck." Right. And I've been driving a year. You See, know what I'm saying? That's another. So thing. I didn't make that type of money until I developed that relationship with that planner. And that's when I got my first eleven hundred dollar check and my first twelve hundred dollar check. But before then, I was the broke as shit, and I was out three weeks at a time. I'm like, how? see that? See that's what a lot of a lot of drivers, especially a lot of YouTube drivers, will come on and tell you, "Hey, I got eleven hundred dollars. I got fourteen hundred dollars. I got this and I got that." And I'm I'm my first year in with U.S. Express, and I'm going like, dude, where, where you where, who you working for to mm -hmm. get that kind of money? You know what I'm saying? I want to work there. <laughs> I want to work there. So I guess back to your question before, what I wish I would have knew mm -hmm. is that you're not coming on a road making boo-boo-ass money at Exactly. Her. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So you, uh, how old are you? Now I'm 26 years old. All right. So who? Uh, and I started when I was 23. Okay. Okay. Who was uh who was the people that uh that most influenced you the most in life? Who influenced me in life? In life and in trucking. Like have anybody influenced you to get into the trucking game before and who's who's your influencers outside of trucking? Well, this is my story. Like I had to figure out cuz I lost everything my car had got retold. I was losing clients at work because I was a home health aide before I even started trucking, right? Okay. So, like, when they died, that was it. Like, where are you getting your clients from? Unless the agency, you know, sends you more clients. So, when they would die, then, you know, that takes the emotional toll. Plus, you're not making no money to pay your bills. Right. So, I had to figure out what do I like to do? that I can make money doing. And, like, I got so broken to the point where, like, I'm on government assistance, food stamps, you know, 
trying to figure shit out. So I'm thinking, like, either I'm finna strip or I'm finna drive a truck. Like, because I love driving. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I was ready to lose myself. Dignity behind, like, that's, I was broken, broken. So that was pretty much and uh I, that's pretty much your motivation for getting into trucking, getting uh definitely getting, you know, your your struggles. Everything that was coming yeah. was was all falling down. So that 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 was your motivation to get up in uh in the trucking, okay? Definitely, because okay. I needed to get my son to school. Like when they took my car, it was like, Oh damn, now I have no car to drive to go to these people's house. Now I can't get my son to school. Mm-hmm. That was my struggle, and that was like, well, let me get up in this truck because I know I can drive. There you go, there you go. So along the Definitely. way, along the way, before you got into trucking, uh, what resources that helped you along the way? What 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 did you do to start researching uh, the trucking industry? I googled a lot of stuff, and then I definitely got on YouTube, and I like I made YouTube like my Google search box. <laughs> and I ran into this one lady who was working for Covenant at the time. I don't even, I can't even find her page anymore. But like, I watched her videos. And I'm like, okay, well, she's a black lady. She looks like me. And if she could do it, I could do it. <laughs> there you go. That's what's up. I wish you would have uh, found me. Lockout men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't even know it was this many truck outlets on there. Like, it's yeah, so it's sa- it's, it's saturated. So it's saturated right now. I mean, it's like it's like every, especially with Prime, because I interviewed uh, I've interviewed a couple of Prime drivers, but it's like, in my opinion, in my opinion only, Prime. Okay, it's like Prime gives the drivers the YouTube handbook. So it's like every mm-hmm. it's like every truck driver that works at Prime has a YouTube channel. We got Nick and Carla. We got my girl Queen. Mm-hmm. We got Junior Herdores. We got we got uh, the other uh, female. Uh, what, what's the female couple's name? Uh, uh, Eliante and and Kaylee. I think or I, I can't remember her name, but we got those, and they all start at Prime. Pink, uh, mm. Pinky, she started at Prime, and everybody there has a YouTube page. So yeah, it is kind of, it is kind of saturated. And when you're trying to do, and when you're trying to do YouTube and trying to get a, a, a niche, a niche going, it's kind of hard. Being that, you know, it, it's already, it's already saturated. You know, you got that's kind of why gotta, I don't watch other YouTubers because I don't want anybody thinking I'm biting from them and then I don't want to be like anybody else. Like, exactly. I started my YouTube videos a year ago and I already found my little tribe and I'm good with it. I call my subbies, my kings, and my queens, and this is the dynasty. Welcome. <laughs> there you go. That's what's up. That's what's up. Don't forget to sub to me, though. <laughs> oh, I so, definitely did. So, when, when you, you comment on my video, <laughs> and I love what you're doing. I appreciate that you even reached out to me. And Thank I've you. been like binge watching your videos. And Thank you've been you. doing this for some time. Yeah, I, I've been in the game going on five years now. I started I started at uh, U.S. Express, but I got my CDLs from uh, Tri-C Truck Driving School. So when you... Right. Um, so now that, you, uh, now that you're in trucking, what were what some things that you had to overcome in, in this game? Definitely like the ups and downs. Like when I got fired from Cardinals, it was almost like, well, damn, I'm about to lose it again. Because I left, when I left Swift and I knew I was getting with Cardinal, I got an apartment, I got a car, and I got my baby back. There you go. So I'm like, okay, I'm finna do it, right? Okay. So when nine months later, when I got fired, it was like, well, where's my source of income to keep my apartment? And to keep my house and to keep my baby because I had already lost that before, you mm-hmm. know, back in 2016. It repoed my car and I had to give up my apartment. So that was my worst fear. So now I'm back on food stamps for these three months that I'm out of trucking, you know, like I'm back on government assistance getting that help. Mm-hmm. But it's like that was one thing I didn't want to go back to. And oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought in the question. What was the question? Yo, T-Boss, it's been a minute, but we back now. Bring the trap out. The, the question was, uh, 
The question was, uh, what what did you have to overcome? Oh yeah, I just had to overcome basically my thoughts because when mm-hmm. I was thinking negatively, and I would get so caught up in that, so I had to get over myself and become my own hero and get up out of that. So I had to raise my vibrations and just talk to myself with my affirmations. You're a boss. I can do this. I am a boss. I am worthy. You know, I'm a truck driver, and I just had to search, research which company am I going to try it again with. Because I didn't get my hazmat endorsement, my tanker endorsement for no reason, you know. So I had to do it for my baby. So you got, so you got all of them. So you got all of them. Did you got, you got your triples and doubles no, as well? No, I just have my hazmat and my tanker. And I got my passengers, but I didn't have, like, a vehicle to test in with my passengers. So... I passed the written, but I didn't get the endorsement. Okay. All right. So you so you so you came from a, a, a our home health aid right. field. So if money wasn't if money wasn't an option for this for this trucking thing, because basically that's what it is. But if money wasn't an option, what would you be doing? Well, I, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur, so I started up my last business. Excuse me, I started up my last business when I was fired from Cardinal. I started selling lashes in August. I've always liked lashes. You started, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. You started what? Lashes. I started selling lashes, like eyelashes. Oh, lashes, lashes. You got a, you got a website for that or? No, I've just been selling them in my hometown, my hometown, like when I'm at home, I sell them on the weekends. So if anyone from St. Pete, my city, y'all can reach out to me on my Facebook, my Instagram, and um okay yeah but before then you know so i've been doing music all right so i'm on facebook right now what's what's your what's your facebook uh what's your facebook okay so my facebook you're gonna type in a as in harry a as in apple uh-huh. n as in nancy uh-huh. e as in uh-huh. elephant e as in elephant uh-huh. f as in uh-huh. franklin a as in apple uh-huh. A as in uh-huh. Harry, space, uh-huh. and then space, uh-huh. Sharif, which is my last name. S as in Samuel, H as uh-huh. in Harry, E as in elephant, uh-huh. R as in rabbit, uh-huh. R as in rabbit, uh-huh. I uh-huh. as in indigo, uh-huh. and then E E F F, honey for Sharif. That's me. Let's see, let's see if that's you. Uh, Ernest University? Yeah, Everest University. All right. There, there's you. Cute picture of you and your uh, baby Thank right you. there. All right. So if you guys, so this where you, this where you sing, uh, sell your uh, lashes and yep. stuff from your, from your Facebook? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now what about, oh, okay. I see them. So Wispy, that's, that's the <laughs> name of it? Yeah, I have like 10 different styles and I have 10 different styles names. Yeah. Okay. All right. Some uh, some thick lashes here. Yeah, twenty five mm. I like them long. And you say you like yes. them long. Okay. What what about your Instagram? You have you have an I Instagram? I definitely do have an Instagram. My Instagram name. All right. Is hold on. Wait, okay. Wait, not, all right. Go ahead. Go. It's N as in Nancy. E E as in elephant. F as in Frank. A as in Apple. H as in Harry underscore five underscore underscore five. Oh, okay there you is nisa uh nifa Ni. yeah and my All bio right. basically so tells uh, everything uh, like you know i'm an artist truck driver youtuber all right yeah there yeah. you go yeah i see you standing in front of uh did, is this your car no <laughs> yeah, well, i was on my way no, that's the- that's your goal that's your goal. There you Definitely. go. That 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 should be a goal. Okay, there you go. All right. Neat that was for the classic. You know, All the classic right. is a big deal down there in Florida. In Orlando. Okay, okay. There you are working for Epps. Mm-hmm. All right. Pictures of uh you and your kids. Yeah, it was his birthday. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. All right. So so now that uh so now that you uh you know got your little side hustle mm-hmm. going. What what advice would you give your younger self? What do you what do you think you you still yeah. young, but 
let's say maybe five, ten years ago, what you know now, what you would have told, you know, what you would tell yourself younger? Just keep going. Just, you just got to keep going. No matter the obstacle. Okay. You got to keep going. You got to pray. And whatever you believe in, just keep going. That's a good. That's some advice for that. That's that's some good advice, not just for her younger self, but some of you new jets out there too. Take heed yeah. of that. Take and heed of that. Follow your dreams. All right. Like, so, I want to be the biggest superstar. I want to be the rap version of Michael Jackson. I don't want people falling out okay. about me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta check <laughs> out my music. Up. I'm hot. I'm not just saying that. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll definitely. Do, Definitely uh, send the people yeah, over your way. Do. Okay, okay. Def I, like I said, I'll definitely send the people your way so they can check you out. All right, so being uh, so being that trucking is being so stressful and everything. What what do you do to what do you do to rest? How how do you how do you take the stress off? I go be with my family to get back grounded because this is what it's about. Okay, providing for my family. Being around the ones I love, spending that time. Because time is something you just can't get back. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, let me ask you this, man. You know, a lot of us truck drivers, you know, a lot of people perceive us as, you know, just dumb people behind the wheel. What is something, what is something about trucking that people don't appreciate? They don't realize that everything that they have, that they own, or anything that's in their home has been on a truck before. Like, it's been in a trailer. So, I don't think people realize that we actually deliver America. It's <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That is for sure. Well, Nifa, Nif, hey, I want to thank you for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate it. What do you um, what do you got lined up for today? Where 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 are you at? Right now, I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I'm making my way down to Kissimmee, Florida, for the home time. It's the weekend. Okay. Now you say you're heading to Florida, so Florida, that's that's you from I Florida, am a Florida, right? Home. And these niggas love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my song and my video. That is, all right, that is what's up. So, guys, yo, definitely go and check my girl out, Nifa Neef, on her uh, YouTube. I'm about to bring that back up right quick. Oh, you still talking. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me get you out of out of the out of the speaking yeah her youtube is definitely nifa neef on uh youtube her instagram is what nifa is it underscore five and what is your facebook nifa and you all can right check so you guys go snapchat check her out too. Oh, okay she has a snapchat so definitely go uh check her out so if you guys is interested in content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And, yo, if you guys want to come on the show, definitely hit me up in the in the Gmail, which is Lockout Men. And y'all can also listen to the show at anchor.fm backslash Lockout Men. That is the podcast. Nifa Neef, thank you very much for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate thank it. You. Definitely don't be no stranger. You definitely won't. You know, if you need help or anything like that, you can always reach out to me. I'm always, well, not always <laughs> available. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I got, you should see my email. It's just, <laughs> but definitely you can uh definitely get at me we'll probably do this again hopefully we could probably uh get a face-to-face -face yeah. going or video or video chat going but uh definitely yo you stay safe you stay blessed out there man and don't don't clip nobody <laughs> thank you so much i haven't been in an accident since my first year must have been because i was with swift <laughs>
Lambo on the beat. Lambo he got the shit knocking. Knock Yo nigga is a freak. Yup. He keep the bear rocking. Damn. She wanna be 